Rex, Hardened Grease, Sanitary Pads, Condoms and Wet Wipes, these are some common culprits that cause sewer chokages, resulting in odours and sewer overflows. Though the natural instinct is to get as far away as possible. Pub's first response team attends to the blockage as soon as it can upon receiving reports from the public. Using metal rods that can be fitted to extend up to 100 m, the team can reach into the sewer and hook onto obstructions with a spiral auger to clear the sewer. In July, the public will be able to watch the team carry out a mock clearance of a sewer at Pub's Water Hub, followed by a guided tour of the nearby Ulu Pandan Water Reclamation Plant where participants can learn how raw sewage turns into clean, drinkable water. Pub engineers will also demonstrate how a remote-control closed-circuit television robot is used to inspect sewers for defects and blockages. These are among a slew of activities that will be part of Go Green SG, an annual movement led by the Ministry of Sustainability and the Environment MSC to rally citizens organizations and the community to make Singapore a green, livable and climate-resilient nation. Other activities include a visit to JTC Corporation's Solar Land, Singapore's largest ground-mounted solar farm, at Changi Business Park, and workshops where participants can make their own scrubs and hair masks and turn discarded chilies into pest spray. The 2024 edition of Go Green SG will run from June 12 to July 14, partially overlapping with the school holidays to allow families to participate in the activities during and outside the school term. The initiative, which was launched in 2023, saw more than 70,000 people take part in more than 300 activities, with programs and experiences organised by more than 160 partners, according to MSC. With 2024 designated the Year of Public Hygiene by MSC. Go Green SG will feature more activities related to public cleanliness, the environment, and sustainability. These include a beach cleanup and an educational talk on clean energy technologies organized by the Sustainable Energy Association of Singapore and plastic upcycling workshops by Social Enterprise Semula. Semula converts plastic waste into useful products, such as art installations and furniture, and diverts waste from incinerators and landfills. As part of Go Green SG, Semula will run a series of workshops where participants can create coasters out of plastic flakes from milk bottle caps and shampoo bottles. Mr. Gerald Yap, co-founder and product innovation lead at Semula, said that the company has also worked with homegrown carpentry firm Rogerson's to for a cafe create stools out of milk bottles and abandoned logs from local sawmills. Some of these stools are also currently used in the workspace at Semula. Through the Go Green SG workshops, the 32-year-old said he hopes participants can realize that their little efforts in recycling can make a big impact. It's not something that is a waste of time, but it can actually result in diverting waste away from the landfill and come up with products that they can actually use for themselves at home. He said, We believe that a tiny step taken today to do right by our environment, when multiplied by a million and more times, can be a powerful force for change. Mr. Yet added that when Samula was started, the team was not sure how much they could contribute to the making of a more sustainable Singapore. However, to date, the company has been able to divert 3.6 tons of high-density polyethylene plastic waste, such as milk and shampoo bottles, from incinerators and landfills. Go Green SG 2024 will be launched by Deputy Prime Minister Hong Sui Kit on June 12.